we are all out here we, because we all care about different reasons, but as we've seen recently, there's been a lot of attacks on our EPA. I was just informed that yesterday, there's new rules that come out to even further weaken the protections of the EPA in regards to coal plant regulations and methane regulations and be able to report methane. So every day, we're getting new stuff we're going to have to fight against and resist it against. So that's why I'm glad to be here to be with Rep Representative Schneider, who's in D.C., but we're going to send this message to him anyway as a big thank you for um, his support and his statements that he's made within last week to stand up and protect our lakes and water. And I think one of the things we need to, to realize is that we're dealing with a global situation. It's not a national situation. One of the concepts with de destroying the EPA is that it becomes state regulated, which just doesn't work, just as it doesn't really work at the national level. The good news is we have people all over the world trying to do the same type of thing, move the earth to a sustainable place. Um, the best definition for sustainability that I ever heard was from an African elder, and it is simply three words, enough, for all, forever. And, and the simplicity of that is really, really nice.